Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are back on the M3. We want to get the body work done today, so. Yo, you broke the tripod, bro. <laughs> bro, dude, we need a new tripod, man. I, I have struggled to find a good tripod. Every single one I find, they're like $100 and they all look like this. Guys, so this this right here, this is Nate 2.0. When Nate's not holding the camera, this is holding our camera and look at it, it's just coming apart. So if anybody knows of a good tripod or possibly has one somewhere like in the back collecting dust, uh, we would appreciate the help. Uh, for now, we're going to... All right, so back to the M3. I think what we need to do is probably go ahead and button up the wheel well, get everything seamed up, uh, get it sprayed in there with some rubberized undercoating. And then uh, we need to get all the wheels back on it, get this thing off the frame machine and uh, go ahead and start grinding down all these welds right here. All these little dots need to be grinded down. The seams need to be grinded down and we need to slap some Bondo on this thing. So, dude, I say we just get it in primer or maybe even trimmed out on here because it's so much easier to work on the frame machine. That is true. I mean, we've got a pretty good amount of space to stand, uh, so it's not a, too much of an issue there. So yeah, maybe maybe we can just. I want to get this here. thing knocked out, dude. Yeah, I mean, because we're trying to stick just to this job and get this thing done. So we're not really going to use the frame machine until this is all completed. So I think I think you're right. I think we can just leave it up here. Yeah, let's so, let's get it to work. Yeah, you basically just need to grind everything down, get some bond on it, and. That's it. All right, guys, so we are ready to go ahead and spray the primer. I've got it all mixed up right here. We are using a uh, Dynaco primer surfacer slash sealer. It can be used both ways. So we're using the priming version of it.
All right, so we got it all trimmed out and it looks really good. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do all the body work. As you guys know, Birdie's AMG is always interrupting the scenes. Uh, so as you guys know that this door was damaged here and uh, we need to fix it. So that's what I've started doing now. I'm blocking it out to see where all the damage is. You can see it's mostly concentrated right here. We got a little high spot, a little low spot. So we need to get all that out and then uh, make sure that the side skirt's good, make sure the rear bumper's good, and we need to strip the front bumper. So hopefully we can get all that done today and get this thing ready for paint. All right, so I got some Bondo down on the front door and while it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and strip this front bumper. Uh, we've got the aircraft paint stripper right here. Check that out. Non-methylene chloride paint remover. Strips to bare metal in 45 minutes for use on metal, fiberglass, flexible, and rigid plastics. Uh, I'm gonna strip it down real quick, get the emblem off of it, get all the plastics off of it, get a bare bumper going, and then we're gonna cover it with the paint stripper and some plastic and then it should be good to go. I'm guessing this car does not have the windshield washers or the, the headlight sprayers. Look what they did right there. Is it just screws? That's just screws, bro. Just gonna take them out and then uh, we'll, we'll paint everything and then we'll just put it back together the same way. Oh, I mean, yeah. it, honestly, it's kind of whack that the car doesn't have, but I, I thought they all had it. Nothing. Yeah, I don't see the, I don't see that water lines, but then again. I don't see why you even need a headlight washer. Because, oh, see, that makes sense why the headlights are so bad. Look, it's because he didn't have the sprayers working. If he had the sprayers working, it wouldn't be None dirty inside. It wouldn't be dirty nope. inside. Nope. The dirt would have never got past the sprayer. You know, it's like your eyelashes. It keeps stuff from flying in there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the aircraft paint stripper on the entire bumper, and then I'm going to wrap it in plastic. And the plastic is going to keep the stripper from drying out. And the longer it stays wet on the paint, the more effective it's going to be. So with this stuff right here, you want to keep it nice and thick because if you if you lay it on too thin, it's not going to work. It's not going to have enough strength. So it has to be like kind of thick like that right there.
All right, so check this out. We got everything ready for primer. The dust means that we are ready for primer. No, uh, we got the inside look. Look at that, that's so nice. Remember, this was all destroyed, but now it's beautiful. And uh, I did make a mistake, I'm not gonna lie. I, I messed up right here. I didn't paint the inside of this door. And Paul, Paul kind of roasted me about that this morning, but he said it's gonna be okay because when we go to paint this car, we're gonna make it to where this door opens because we have to paint this door on the inside as well. So we'll figure that all out, you know, later. I'll just let Paul deal with it, honestly. My job is just to get the framework done and get the bodywork done. And then Nate's job is to get the rest of it done. Right, yeah. Nate? Put it all together? That's Andre's job. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna watch with all the right, camera. Yeah. All right, so what we need to do now, uh, we need to tape everything up. We need to clean, clean everything off and get all this ready for primer. We need to shoot just a little bit of primer right here, just where the paint kind of chipped off. I thought about bonding these little dings and dents right here, but you know what? It's just not worth it, honestly. Uh, we're gonna destroy this sealer and nobody, nobody's ever gonna look right there. Might be wondering what this is from. This is dad's piece right here. Dad's slick with it. When he sees that we're about to prime something, he sneaks one of his pieces in. He's like, yo boys, hit it up for me. You know we can't say no, ain't no way. Get this thing nice and primed in. Dad's gonna show up in the morning be like, dang, I'm proud of my boys. Think, Nate, does it look good? Looks really good. I mean, I think you kind of laid it a little heavy up here on this tape line, though. Well, I mean, I had to. I had to, man. I was mm. trying, I, I forgot that that was tape, and I was trying to blend that in with this because I was like, I didn't want you know that to be noticeable. And then it, once I realized that that was just tape, it was too late. Why didn't you just tape it at the top? I didn't think of that. I didn't want stuff going into the hole. Oh, yeah, know? I feel you. You got to be careful. You got to keep your holes closed. Uh, it's looking really good. I probably should go ahead and not untape it when it's so fresh, but uh, look at here, man. I'm so proud of myself for what happened in here. If you guys seen it before, which I don't think you really got a really detailed look of what it looked like before right there, but between what it was and what it is now, I'm like, I'm like so happy. I'm, I'm just, I can't stop staring at it. Hm, look at that. Look at sure that. looking so good. good. Looks so good. I got the corner of the door fixed. I got that part fixed. And I got dad's grill prime. So I'm I'm up, man. I made like two grand a day. Just between this and that. Well, I'd say this is about like 50 bucks and that grill over there is about yeah, 1950. Yeah. yeah, like 1950, you know, because Pop sees big money. So, you know, we can charge him whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If anything, this is 1950. This is two grand and then that's zero dollars. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, but it's looking really good. Uh, I'm very happy with how the inside of this door turned out. And uh, yeah, we're kind of behind on this job. We actually need to get this thing painted by Wednesday. I don't know if that's going to happen because of the front bumper. Check this out. So this is round two of Paint Stripper. And uh, tomorrow we're going to bring our pressure washer because we did take it home. Dad needed to clean some stuff at the house. So uh, without the pressure washer, it's going to be very hard to actually knock all this stuff off. So tomorrow we're gonna get the pressure washer here. We're gonna coat this thing again with the aircraft paint remover and hit it with the pressure washer. And hopefully all these little, knit, little 
bits of paint will come off, which I think they will look, they just pop right off. And they did some work right here. Andre, Andre, you're gonna ornate like three steak dinners for this one. This is usually what happens when you don't sand a bumper thoroughly before hey, painting it. But check this out. That's factory paint on those caps right there. And I put a lot of paint stripper over that. Yeah, and see, that's a testament to the fact that you should never buy a rebuilt vehicle. Never. Never. <laughs> hey, we rebuild vehicles and we sell them and we rebuild vehicles for people all the time. But to our viewers who we love and respect and want you to prosper, do not buy a rebuild vehicle unless you know what you're doing. What the next thing we need to do is obviously get this all stripped down. We're gonna reprime this with a really nice epoxy primer and then we're gonna seal it and repaint it with a high quality Dynacoat paint, which is going to hold up to rock chips and everything else that you throw at it. And then, you know, Andre will be happy. But that's gonna be in the next video, guys. So stay tuned for that. We probably got what, maybe one more video on this car, Nate, hopefully. Yeah, I'd say yeah, pretty I'm much thinking, one more. I'm thinking, yeah, we, we were gonna drop this video when Friday or Saturday. Yeah. yeah. But we, we, we didn't have the bumper done. We didn't have the door done. So we figured we'd get you guys a little more content in there. And then Ben was supposed to be here doing some work as well. We we're gonna throw that in there, but he never showed up like he always does. And uh, so yeah, we're here. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. And also stay tuned for the upcoming builds. I promise you, you will love them. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.